This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see my eyes on that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Make, give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I started this channel because of all the fraud and corruption that was in the stock market, all the fraud and corruption surrounding AMC, GME, and a, and a lot of the mem stocks. And I and I really was not aware of all the fraud and corruption that was in our stock market. I wasn't aware of all the fraud and corruption that was in our banking industry. I was, I was going through life with blinders. But right now, even though the fraud and corruption is on another level in the stock market. The fraud and corruption in the banking industry is on another level. We have, in my opinion, something that is inherently more dangerous. Outside countries are attacking us. Okay? And this is just my opinion. Uh, you don't have to agree with me. You can disagree with me. I don't have a problem with that. But what I see happening will have a, a, a worse impact on our economy than anything these crooked securities edges can do, anything these crooked bankers could do. OPEC has decided to lower the amount of oil they're producing. And of course... A lot of people are going to say, oh, they, they normally do that. That's what they do. I don't think that's what's going on. I believe that they're doing it to push up the price of oil, to put additional strain on our economy. They, they, they already started taking steps to devalue the American dollar. They already started, started taking steps to conduct international trade without the U.S. dollar. They already started taking steps to trade oil without the U.S. dollar. And now all these OPEC nations have decided to reduce the amount of oil that they're producing every day. Saudi Arabia has decided to, 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 minim, to, take five, to make 500,000 less barrels of oil every day. Okay? They're going to produce 500,000 less barrels of oil every day. And their other OPEC buddies are reducing the amount of barrels they produce also. And it goes contrary to what the United States wanted, contrary to what President Biden wanted. And to me, and this is just my opinion, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any oil stock. Or, or invest in an oil company. But what I'm telling you is this. Based on the way my mind works. Based on what I'm seeing. Based on what I'm analyzing. These guys. They can't beat us militarily. So they are attacking us. In a way they feel that we can't fight back. And our politicians. Are concerned about transgender. They're concerned about all these other knots. And Hunter Biden's laptop. They need to be focused on what these other countries are doing to destabilize our economy. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that OPEC reducing the amount of barrels they produce every day, is it to put pressure on the U.S. economy? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.